after emerging as Hollywood's Adonis and exploding to become one of the movie's biggest names. Brad Pitt could have sat out the rest of his life as a fading celebrity who popped up whenever the price was appropriate to collect a check. However, it became evident at the close of the 20th century that he didn't want to be known as a tabloid cover model. Today, Brad Pitt is a household name who is memorable for his iconic roles. He's proven he can be both comedic and serious, and not just a pretty face. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video we're going to talk about Brad Pitt's most iconic roles. At number 15 is the funny Chad Feldhamer in Burn After Reading. The Coen brothers Joel and Ethan are known for bringing out the best in their actors, and in the 2008's Burn After Reading is no exception. Brad was cast in the surprisingly humorous lead role of a personal fitness instructor who discovers an important disc containing classified CIA information. Brad has a knack for going off the rails in the Coen brothers' special type of dark comedy that was seemingly made for him. Brad's on-screen chemistry with Francis McDormand is unmatched in the film, and his physical humor complements his wacky thinking and lines flawlessly. At number 14, we have Brad Pitt as Mickey O'Neill in the movie Snatch. Brad Pitt's character as Mickey O'Neill was not a part of the original Snatch script, but after Guy Ritchie had a conversation with Brad, he wrote Brad's character. Mickey O'Neill is an Irish boxer and leader of a caravan group of swindlers. The movie features an ensemble cast from corrupted boxing promoters, violent bookmakers, a Russian gangster, and competent amateur robbers, and supposedly Jewish jewelers fight to track down a priceless stolen diamond. Brad's accent is hilarious, and he contributed some of the film's finest one-liners, and also a seriousness that comes on quickly when needed for a job or reviled by the film's villains. Brad was on the verge of declining the part, because he thought it was too similar to his character in Fight Club, but was too eager to work with Richie to turn it down. Brad's memorable accent was inspired by Fred Rickwood, a character from the Irish television series Father Ted. At number 13, we have Brad Pitt as Billy Bean in the movie Moneyball. Moneyball is a 2011 drama directed by Bennett Miller and is undeniable proof that Brad is still a force to be reckoned with in more ways than one. He would be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his major performance as Billy B, a desperate baseball manager who resorts to some rather familiar measures to get his team in the playoffs. From start to end, this smash hit was a runaway triumph, earning six Oscar nominations, including Best Picture but failing to win the prize. Moneyball was also adapted from a novel written by Michael Lewis. At number 12, we have Brad Pitt in the movie Seven as David Mills. The stunning performance by Brad was more remembered than the lingering impression left by David Fincher's cinematic masterwork Seven. Nothing screams louder than his character detective David Mills' gut-wrenching rage when he cries out what's in the box. Thanks to the meme's fear, even individuals who have never seen the movie have heard this iconic line before. At the same time, these words are as well-versed and world-renowned as they became measure a minuscule fraction of the film's overarching greatness. Seven leads us on a wild goose chase in search of John Doe, a frightening serial killer portrayed to a perfection by Kevin Spacey, with Mills accompanying experienced Lieutenant William Somerset, expertly played by voiceover king Morgan Freeman. Not only is the plot unique, captivating, and totally spine-chilling, but Brad's fascinating performance as well, with no disrespect to the other excellent performances, takes viewers on an emotional roller coaster that is equally stomach churning and painful as it is eerie. At number 11, we have Brad Pitt as Don War Daddy Collier in the movie Fury. Brad, who plays Don War Daddy Collier, a leading soldier in the Nazi crusade, plays the character of a tenacious warrior almost too well. Fury is far from hilarious. Instead, this modern American war film is supposed to convey the brutal realities of battle by employing alarming amounts of blood and gore to present a gruesome, yet an intriguing picture. The message is significant in and of itself, but the most moving aspect of the film is the fact that it is based on horrifyingly true events. Brad Pitt, who is known for getting into character no matter what it takes in terms of physical exertion, has also confirmed the process of filming the movie was just as daunting. At number 10, we have Brad Pitt as Death, 
or Joe Black in the movie Meet Joe Black. Meet Joe Black is a film about a wealthy guy attempting to negotiate his own death. It's a film about a woman who is captivated by a concept. It's also a meditation on Brad Pitt's cinematic presence. It's not always a good thing that there's time for family rivalry and a corporate takeover, but there are parts in the film that make it really good. Meet Joe Black is a fantastic film that has a lot to say about the meaning of life and how vital it is to make the most of your time on this earth in mortal form. Not only did Brad Pitt look gorgeous in the movie, but he also executed his role very well. Not to mention, his chemistry with Anthony Hopkins was outstanding. The film received mixed reviews and was initially a flop, with most complimenting the performances, but criticizing the film's three-hour length. Besides that, the movie had impressive overseas showings which boosted its totals. At number 9, we have Brad Pitt as Samuel Bass in 12 Years a Slave. 12 Years a Slave is another award-winning film in which Brad appears as a supporting character. The film is based on the true story of Solomon Northup, played by Chiwetel A. Giofor, who was ruthlessly pulled from his upstate New York roots and forced to work as a free labor slave in the South. Brad portrays the film's main white character, a Canadian abolitionist named Samuel Bass, who is instrumental in Northup's final escape and redemption from slavery. At number 8, we have Brad Pitt in the movie Ad Astra's Roy McBride. In the near future, astronaut Roy McBride must travel across the solar system in search of his missing father. This movie has very few lighthearted moments, but it is an enthralling space drama for fans of the genre. And we have Brad Pitt. It's a fantastic journey into the vastness of the universe. Brad had a deep understanding of the role and gave a performance that turned passivity into a deadly type of self-defense. The actor was a vacuum unto himself, and his empty and contented expression made Tyler Durden want to punch him in the face. Some may say Brad wasn't doing much, yet this was a great performance that only he could deliver. At number 7, we have Brad Pitt as Rusty Ryan in the movie Ocean's Eleven. There isn't a more legendary group of gambling gangsters than those who were featured in the Oceans franchise. Brad Pitt is a con man in a casino is everything all fans never knew they needed, and is a classic of the decade. Most people's minds are probably drawn to George Clooney's face first, but wherever Danny Ocean goes, Rusty Ryan is sure to be close after. This trailblazing crew has consistently skewed the odds in their favor, even when the endeavor appears to be near impossible. Ocean may be the pack's leader, but their legacy would be incomplete without Rusty. At number 6 we have Brad Pitt in the movie Legends of the Fall as Tristan Ludlow. Brad Pitt plays Tristan, one of three boys raised by a single father in the Montana wilderness. With his flowing golden locks, geometrically symmetrical face, piercing blue eyes, and seemingly effortless physical shape, Brad offered a fantastic performance as a brother in pain proving that while being attractive helps, you still have to work for it. Because of the fact that Brad was the primary character in the movie, it appeared that this role was written specifically for him, as evidenced by how well he fits into it. At number 5, we have Brad Pitt as Lieutenant Aldo Rain in the movie Inglorious Bastards. Brad made cinematic history with his portrayal of Lieutenant Aldo Rain, often known as Apache. Inglorious Bastards is a real Tarantino treasure through and through, and is acclaimed as one of the best films ever created. From Christoph Waltz to Diane Kruger, this cult classic features an all-star cast and a parabolic rewrite of the past, making it possibly the most memorable film Brad has ever been a part of on all fronts. Set during World War II, the plot revolves around Brad's character a commanding chief of a team of Jewish-American soldiers with one overt mission killing Nazis. Speaking to Tarantino's unique touch in the theater, the smash hit had a monumental impact on the world of film, as well as the world beyond it. Are you curious who's at number four? It's Brad Pitt as Benjamin Button in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Brad's career ages like fine wine, just like his character in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. However, not because he was born backward like the character he plays getting younger by the year, as he matures through the motions of life in reverse, but because his popularity only improves as he gets older. The role of Benjamin Button, a well-known character, paved the way for his career as an actor. 
we are nearing the end of our video. But before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Okay, now back to the story. Protect your heels because we have Brad Pitt as Achilles and Troy at the number three spot. Regardless of the fact that the timeline is a few centuries off, Brad's portrayal in Troy, a colorful production directed by Wolfgang Peterson, maps exactly the same path for modern day romantics of ancient Roman times, assembling an absolute powerhouse of a cast, including well-known and highly respected celebrities such as Orlando Blue, Eric Bana, and Peter O'Toole. This magnificent historical battle film takes the prize for doing the most unforgettable justice to the Trojan story. Despite the presence of all of these celebrities, on the other side, Brad continues to keep the title of being a monumental major attraction. As this iconic lead, Brad will go down in history alongside Achilles, and his heel is one of the most brilliantly on-point superstars to ever play him. Fighting his way to the number two spot as Brad Pitt is Tyler Durden in the movie Fight Club. Tyler Durden is almost as well known as Brad Pitt. Fight Club is another terrific Fincher Pitt film, which remains in the top rankings for best movies in cinematic history. And for good reason, Fight Club, based on Chuck Palahniuk's epic novel, was much ahead of its time. Even by today's standards, it's a must-see collection with enough legendary one-liners and profound concepts to last a lifetime. Tyler, the most unexpected twist in modern cinema since Star Wars, forms a secret society with Edward Norton's character, a nameless narrator with terrible insomnia. Though it appears simple at first glance, its plot has more twists and turns than a winding road, and it is utterly captivating. Brad's ideal character of Tyler's trademark appeal, bad boy charisma, and rebel with a cause attitude keeps the audience entertained and glued to the screen until the very end. Finally at number one is Brad Pitt as Cliff Booth in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. With the caliber of Quentin Tarantino, Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, and Brad Pitt on the cast, this regal blockbuster was destined to be an Oscar nominee at the very least. Once Upon a Time had a total of 190 nominations and 48 wins under its belt, which blew Hollywood expectations out of the water. Brad plays Cliff Booth, a stuntman whose persona was based on two real-life people in the entertainment industry. As the film unfolds, a mystery arises, based on the terrifyingly true narrative of Charles Manson and his family of followers, which has been reproduced over the previous century. Tarantino's unique take on the subject, on the other hand, has earned him a place in the big hall of fame with Brad for all time. Brad received his lone Academy Award for performing in this film for Best Supporting Actor. What do you think about our list? Did we miss any of Brad Pitt's iconic roles that you think should have been included? Let us know by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.